In this video, we will solve a problem on price discrimination. The question is, a producer has a possibility of discriminating markets between domestic and foreign markets for a product where the demands are respectively. This shows that domestic, you know, market demand and this is foreign market demand. Q1 is equal to 21 minus 0.1 P1. Q2 is equal to 50 minus 0.4 P2. Okay, total cost is 2000 plus 10 Q. Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. That means output in the first market plus output in the second market. What price will the producer charge in order to maximize profit? Uh, the first situation is when he discriminates. Okay, with discrimination. Second part is without discrimination and we have to compare the properties in the both situations. Okay, so let's take the first thing when he discriminates. Okay. So to maximize profit under price discrimination, the producer will set a price so that marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. Simple thing, our marginal cost should be equal to marginal revenue when he discriminates. Okay, he will use this condition marginal cost in the first market should be equal to the marginal revenue in the first market. Okay, that means our marginal cost should be equal to marginal revenue in the first market and which should be equal to the marginal revenue in the second market okay so he will equate individually the marginal costs and marginal revenues in each market okay now what is marginal cost simply the derivative of total cost with respect to output dq okay so here if we take the derivative with respect to this is the total output okay by the way so we have uh, derivative of constant is 0 derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 10 so the marginal cost is 10 hence marginal cost will be same at all level of output okay in the domestic market let us see in this market first okay he will in, uh, individually equate the marginal revenue in the first market with the marginal cost okay so marginal cost is same in both the markets let us see the marginal revenue in the first market so we have q1 is equal to 21 minus 0 0.1 p1 so mar uh, total revenue in the first market will be p1 q1 which is equal to so p1 let's write it here Uh, so first uh, let let's wrap this out let us solve it for p1 okay so i will uh, skip some uh, you know steps here uh, to save the space if we save it for p1 so it will become p1 is equal to 210 minus 10 q2 okay i leave it for you how did i get this simple thing i have just solved it for p1 now total revenue is equal to total revenue in the first market will be equal to p1 into q1 which will be equal to so p1 is this thing 210 minus 10 q1 sorry it is q1 here to this we multiply q1 which will become 210 q1 minus 10 q1 square this is our total revenue in the first market and what is marginal revenue marginal revenue in the first market will be derivative of total revenue derivative of total revenue in the first market with respect to q1 so taking derivative the derivative of q1 is 1 so we are left with 210 derivative of q1 square is 2 q1 so 2 tens are 20 20 q1 okay that means our marginal revenue in the first market will be equal to 210 minus 20 q1 this is the marginal revenue in the first market now the profit maximizing condition requires our marginal revenue in the first market should be equal to the marginal cost in the first market so marginal cost is same okay so our marginal cost is 10 marginal revenue is this that means 210 minus 20 q1 should be equal to 10 if we solve it for q1 so q1 will be equal to since I don't have, you know, the space here, so I'm just trying to skip this stuff here. So Q1 will come out to be 10 also. Okay.
now when q1 is equal to 10 what will be our price just plug this q1 is equal to 10 in this function to get the p1 price so p1 will be equal to 210 210 minus 10 times q1 is equal to 10 solving this p1 will come out to be 210 minus 100 which will come out to be 210 minus 100 it will come out to be 110 okay so this is our you this is our price in the first market this is output in the first market similarly we have to solve for the price and output in the second market okay i don't have the space here but you can check out you will use a, a let me i cannot show it here okay because i don't have this uh, you know luxury of uh, infinite space so i have solved uh, for the first market i got equilibrium output is 10 uh, equilibrium price is 110 okay using same conditions you can check or you can solve for the second market which is foreign market and you will get you know in the second market uh, you will get q1 sorry q2 q2 is equal to 23 and p2 is equal to p2 will be 67.5 okay so i leave it for you to solve for the second market okay now coming to the question b that means we have to see the price and output in the case when there is no discrimination when there is no discrimination okay if the producer does not discriminate that means our price in the first market should be equal to price in the second market and the two demand functions may be simply aggregated that means our total uh, uh, demand function will be equal to demand in the first market plus demand in the second market okay so when we solve this will come out to be this will come out to be let us uh, write it here so q1 is equal to 21 point sorry 21 minus 0 0.1 p1 uh, plus second market is 50 plus 0 0.4 since p1 is equal to p2 so i will write it here again let's write it here p only okay because p1 is equal to p2 let us say it is equal to p so total output will be equal to when we solve this stuff we will get q is equal to 71 minus 0 0.5 p okay this is our total demand function solving for p gives us p is equal to 142 minus 2q okay and total revenue will be equal to price into output price function is this 142 minus 2q to this we multiply q this becomes 142 minus 2q square marginal revenue will be the derivative of this function let us denote it by this uh, tr prime because if i write it in this fashion so i will not have the space so this is also a notation to write the derivative tr prime to so total revenue will be the derivative okay so we have here q also derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 142 minus derivative of q square is 2 q 2 to the 4 q this is our marginal revenue now equilibrium condition will require marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost and marginal revenue uh, which implies 142 minus 4 q should be equal to marginal cost is same which is 10 solving for q so our output output will come out to be 33 okay when you solve this uh, stuff our price will come out to be just plug q is equal to 33 in this function so you will get 142 minus 4 into q so our price will come out to be 76 okay 76 i have actually solved it that's why i am writing it here okay so our price came out to be 76 76 now we have to compare the profits okay so for that let me rub this out 
now profit in the first case when there is discrimination so profit in part a will be equal to profit will be equal to total revenue when he discriminates and total revenue will be equal to total revenue in the first market plus total revenue in the second market so total in the total revenue in the first market will be p1 q1 here it will be p2 q2 so p1 q1 we have 110 and q1 is 10 uh, plus p2 is 67 67.5 into 23 solving this it will come out to be 2 seconds for you 2.5 this is our total revenue okay when he discriminated and what's total cost total cost is simply equal to 2000 plus q sorry 10 uh, q is equal to in place of q we can write q1 plus q2 so we have q1 plus q2 solving this q1 and q2 we know so we have 2000 plus 10 q1 plus q2 means 10 plus 23 it will come out to be when you solve 2330 this is our total cost now profit when he does not discriminate will be equal to total revenue minus total cost total revenue is 2652 sorry so we have the profit is 2652.5 to this we subtract 233 not will we sorry we will get a profit of 322.5 okay this is the profit when he does not discriminate when he discriminate in terms of price what will be the profit okay so in that case again our profit will be equal to total revenue minus total cost okay and total revenue we know is equal to price into output minus total cost is uh, you know same which is 2330 2330 and we got price here okay which i uh, rubbed here okay we got price is 76 and output was uh, you know 33 to this we subtract this two three three naught so profit will be equal to 178 now comparing the profits in the both situation you can easily see the profit has declined in when the you know when the producer does not discriminate okay when he does not discriminate the profit is only 178 when he discriminates the price okay the price is sorry the profit is 322.5 okay i hope i make myself clear thank you